Hello, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. So you're an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber. You use Premiere Pro CC to edit videos, and you want to make DVDs. I'm going to take you step by step through what you have to do to make that happen. All right, over here in the Adobe Creative Cloud app, we're going to click on Apps, and we're going to make sure we're on Installed Apps. And then we got Premiere Pro CC. Uh, I'm going to bring this down right here and say Manage, then Other Versions. We're going to go to CS6 and install it. Okay, here we go now. We have Premiere Pro 6 installed. Now, do not skip this next step. I'm on Windows, but Mac, you do it the way you know how to do it. All right? I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, let's just do this. Let's just say uninstall. Uninstall, uh, absolutely add or remove programs. There you go. Fine. Good enough. All right. And we're going to go to Premiere Pro CS6, and we're going to say uninstall. Even though we just installed it, we're going to uninstall it. You'll find out why in a minute. Wait for it. Okay, now you see this window right here? You want to uncheck Adobe Encore CS6. This is our DVD creating app. We're going to uncheck that. We're going to leave that installed, but we're going to uninstall Premiere Pro CS6. Wait for that. Okay, we're back, and Premiere Pro CS6 has been uninstalled, but Adobe Encore CS6 has been left on the workstation. All right, now we can close out of this. Now let's open a Premiere Pro project. Here we are in Premiere Pro with a little um, one minute, 20 second video, but we wanna put this on a DVD. Here's what we're gonna do. You're finished editing it, got it all ready to go. We're gonna open up the export settings panel. I just use Control M. There are other ways to do it, but that's my way of doing it. Now, we don't want H.264 to create a DVD. Now remember, a DVD is never high definition. It's standard definition. If you want high definition, you have to make a Blu-ray disc. Right now we're making a DVD. H.264, we're gonna go down to MPEG-2 DVD, select that and NTSC DVD wide progressive is what we want. This is gonna be a 16 by nine widescreen. It's exactly what we want, all right? We're almost ready to export this. We're gonna go down to the, the uh, multiplexer tab and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on DVD. Why? Well. Instead of making separate video and audio files, now it's going to make a multiplex file with the audio and video combined. We like that. Okay. And we can tell it where we want it to export to. Mm -hmm. This is good enough. I'm just going to put it right out here like that. Okay. And you can, if you hit Q, it's going to go to the media encoder. If you export it, it's just going to export it straight out. Since it's a short video, I'm just going to export it straight out. Okay. Okay, now that file's finished exporting. I'm just going to close Premiere. Now we're going to go and look for Encore CX6 in our Adobe apps. Uh, it, 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 there it is right there, Encore CX6. We're going to start it up. The first thing you're going to notice, because this is a very old app, it hasn't been updated for many years, that it appears very small on the screen for your high resolution screen. Uh, never mind. Don't need that. Okay, I'm just going to click on new project. Um, um, just call it test for now, whatever. Uh, and we're going to put it in. I'm going to just figure out a place to put it here. Pay no attention to the man behind the screen. Um, there, that's fine. And we're gonna have, make sure the D DVDs checked off here, NTSC, blah, 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 okay. All right, now we're gonna go 
find the file that we just recorded, the, the movie file, the MPEG-2-DVD file that we just recorded. I'm going to right-click on here, import as timeline. All right, now let's go find that file. Uh, mm -hmm. Put it here. <clears throat> okay, let's just go by date. That way we'll be able to find it quickly. And everything disappears. <laughs> That's great. Oh, there it is. Okay, we can scroll down. We'll find it. Uh, here it is right here. Okay. Now, you're going to see this screen first. Wait for it. And now it's ready to go. Okay, there's the whole thing right there. Now, you're not going to be able to hear it right now, but we're actually ready right now to put this on a DVD. So, in your DVD burner, in your workstation, put in a standard... Uh, what's called a DVD-5, which is a single layer, straight up, either, either DVD-R or DVD-R. Put that in there and let that mount. Now we're going to go to the Build menu. Okay? Now you can hit Check Project. It's going to probably tell you there's there may be a problem here or there, whatever. But anyway, once you hit Start, it says End Action Not Set, Title Remote Not Set doesn't matter. What we're creating here is just a standard, what I call a plug and play DVD. That is, you put it in a DVD player and it plays. There's no menu. There's no, you got to hit anything. No, it just plays. And when it's done, it stops. Take the DVD out. That's it. That's what we're making here. So now we're ready to go. We can name this. You can give it a name if you want. Uh, that's completely up to you. Um, we, we're, we're not building a flash file, we're building a DVD file, and we're going to put it on a DVD disc. You have other options there, but I'm giving you the down and dirty easy option, how to make a DVD disc. Just click build right now, ignore the, that screen, and continue, and here we go. We're making a DVD. That's how easy it is, really. Just wait for it. Here it comes. Here's your build progress. It's burning it right on the DVD right now. Wait for the end of that. It's writing the files. Well, we are completely done with this process now. It's getting ready to eject the disc. Here we go. We have our DVD. It's ready to go, ready to play in any standard DVD player. I hope you learned something from this. It's not a very involved process. It's pretty easy if you just follow the simple steps. I'm Stan Arthur. This is my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.